Not sure what's going on with the negative reviews about the assembly that is required for this. If you own a Phillips screwdriver and understand which end of it you hold and which end goes into the screw, the assembly is easy. However, if you are the type that will more than likely poke your eye out with the screwdriver, then maybe cooking with open flame isnt a wise idea after all. The assembly consists of 1. Attaching the handle to the front of the lid using two Phillips head stainless steel screws and two spacers. You don't need a wrench, the nuts are molded into the handle. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Do not poke screwdriver into your eyes. Have someone stand by with a phone to call 911 just in case you accidentally do. 2. Attach the thermometer to the lid. It's keyed and the attachment uses a wing nut. If operating a wing nut is beyond your capabilities, seek professional help. 3. Insert two pins in the hinge points between the lid and lower section. Putting the round peg in the round hole is about as easy as it gets. Again, if you have trouble here, don't use matches or propane. 4. Insert hairpins in the holes on the end of the pins to keep them in place. Don't poke your eye out with the pins. Do not swallow pins. 5. Insert battery included and twist the top on the igniter button. Button on battery goes into the barbecue, the flat end goes into the button. Do not eat the battery. 6. Hard part here, remove the two-piece grill top from the box and place them side by side on the barbecue. Honestly folks, it took me longer to cut up the box and put it in the recycling bin than it took to assemble this thing. If you are not at all mechanically inclined, don't own a Phillips screwdriver, and or don't have two fingers that you can use to turn a wing nut, then you probably should either buy one pre-assembled from a local store, or hire a neighbor to do it for you. As for the, invisible flame, complaints, propane burns pretty clean. The flame is not invisible, it's blue and it's not really that big. If you light this thing and it gets hot, well, there ya go. If you are expecting large yellow, red flames to erupt forth from the barbecue, you will be disappointed. These barbecues work very well. My dad has owned one for years and I've done a few tri-tips, skirt steaks, etc. With it, they heat evenly, keeping the lid closed will help. In fact, his worked so well, he bought a second one to keep with his camper. I bought this one after years of seeing his work so well. They are fairly light and easily portable. They are also built quite well. But, seriously, they do require absolute minimal assembly. If you suspect that is beyond your capabilities, then you really need to find a local store that will assemble it for you. However, it's not difficult. If you honestly do not own a Phillips screwdriver, here, let me google that for you. www.amazon.com Stanley 6002 Standard Phillips Screwdriver DPB 00009 V430 Ref equals SR underscore 1 underscore 6 S equals Power Hand Tools and IE equals UTF-8 and QID equals 1,536,105,960 and SR equals 1 to 6 and keywords equals Phillips plus screwdriver. Click link in description for more reviews. Please click the link below for more information. Please subscribe to my channel for more great products. Please use my affiliate links to support my channel.